everyone. Welcome to another segment of Delaware State University Inside Perspective. I'm Carlos Holmes, and this is the show where we talk with faculty, staff, students, guests about some of the things that are going on in the world and some of the great things that are going on at the Delaware State University. I'm so pleased today to have Dr. Megan Rothermel here. She's, with, she's an assistant professor with our Department of Public and Allied Health. Yes. Thank you so much for coming on my show. We're talking about a special month this month of October 2018. Yes. What is going on this month? This month is Exercises Medicine on Campus Month. Um, and it is designed to promote physical activity, health, and wellness across college campuses um, in the country. Wow, now, when we talk about exercise, a lot of people think of it in terms of, you know, keeping the weight down or, you know, for aesthetic reasons, mm -hmm. you know, to get that muscly, muscular <laughs> look, you know, and which I don't have, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, but when you say exercise is medicine, that sounds like much more, and we talk about that. Well, physical inactivity can contribute to a host of different health conditions and diseases, such as obesity, hypertension, diabetes. Um, so we're not looking to turn everybody into bodybuilders. Uh, we just want people to get out and uh, increase the amount of physical activity that they're doing to decrease their risk of developing chronic health conditions or diseases. So every morning when I get out of the shower, I get out of the shower and even before I'm <laughs> dripping wet, I grab my dumbbells and I do a set of, that's good for me, right? That is good, yeah. but not quite enough. <laughs> oh, I need to do more. Yes, um, over 60% of Americans in the United States do not meet the minimum amount of physical activity um, to promote health. And the minimum amount is 150 minutes of moderate intensity activity a week. 150 minutes. Minutes, yes. Yeah. So if you break that down by day, it's about 30 minutes, five days a week, moderate intensity activity. Uh, moderate intensity would be um, getting your heart rate up to a point where you can carry on a brief conversation but not um, talk to the point where we're talking right now. So when I am running late for an appointment <laughs> and I'm running from one end of the camp, not running, but walking very fast mm -hmm. from one end of the campus to the other, that kind of helps yeah fulfill that kind of thing right? it does yeah so physical activity can be accumulated throughout your day it doesn't have to be a structured um, set amount of time where you're in the gym for 30 minutes but accumulating um, sex sections of 10 minutes of activity where you're getting your heart rate up and your blood's pumping a little bit faster would count yes so when we say medicine okay to me again when i break that down i i take medicine to put something inside of me to help me feel a certain way or to help address some issue that I have going. Or some people take, I guess vitamins could be considered a medicine of sorts. Sort right? of, yeah. Okay, so I take vitamins to promote and sustain good health. Uh, mm -hmm. Exercise is another thing we're putting in, I guess. Right, so um, like I said before, a lot of chronic health conditions come from being physically inactive. And research shows that just the minimum amount of physical activity can decrease your risk significantly. Um, when somebody goes to the doctor and they're diagnosed with high blood pressure, mm -hmm. the most common thing their physician does is prescribe them a pill. Mm -hmm. Where in fact, if they prescribe them physical activity, that could reduce their blood pressure enough to put them back in the safe zone and they wouldn't need that prescription. Mm -hmm. So exercise is medicine, is the prescription that we're trying to promote to get people to be more physically active and reduce their risk of developing diseases or to help improve any conditions that they might already have. Okay, I hope some doctors tune into this show, mm -hmm. I tell you. So now this is uh, Exercise is Medicine Month here at Delaware State University in the yes. month of October. Are there activities that uh, are, are in connection with this observance? Yes, we have a whole list of activities going on the entire month and we plan to continue um, through the rest of the year as well. Um, so far this month, we've started with our walking Wednesdays. So every Wednesday at noon, a group is meeting at the flagpoles to walk around campus for mm -hmm. a half an hour to um, help get everybody up and moving. And it's, again, all these events are open to faculty, students, and staff. Um, we have also put out a, diff, uh, a chair and a desk workout that uh, faculty or staff could do while they're sitting, um, you know, at their desk, take a little break and that 
Um, link will be provided through E! News and we'll send it out to everybody. Mm -hmm. um, we have a body weight workout coming up this Thursday, October 11th at 11 a.m. in the Wellness Center. So people can learn different um, activities or different exercises they can do in the comfort of their own home without the need to go to a gym or any equipment. Uh, we are having a core stability workout that will be on Thursday, October 18th at 11 a.m. in the Wellness and Rec Center. And that is going to um, engage the core, help build strong muscles in uh, the stomach and back area because a lot of people um, are sitting all day and tend to get in this position. So we need to strengthen everybody up and um, straighten them out. And then we are also having behavioral assessments the fourth week in October, the 23rd and the 25th. Um, and that will be in the MLK and in the cafeteria, um, kind of spread throughout the day. We're gonna have some of our students helping to assess your desire to change your behaviors okay. to become more physically active. Okay. And um, you were mentioning something about a YouTube video? Yes. Um, a few of my students put together um, a video demonstrating the different exercises that people can do at their desk or at their chairs in their office. And uh, they did a wonderful job, very entertaining and very educational. Our next exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna do Russian twist. Now it's pretty much a spin off of the leg lift, but you want to add some type of twisting. Well, that sounds like something I could learn something from, so I'm going to watch that as well. Okay, too. good. So, is there anything else you want to add about uh, this Exercise is Medicine Month? Yes, so Exercise is Medicine Month started here last year, um, just uh, really small in our department, and this year our goal is to expand it. Um, we are one of three HBCUs that participate in the program, and in um, the national awards last year, we were the only HBCU honored with a silver level award. So we are hoping for gold this year. We want to get more people up and moving, and um, it's not m as much about the award as it is the award of helping our students become healthy, helping our faculty and staff become healthy, and kind of creating this uh, movement of movement on okay. our campus. All right. Well, Dr. Rothman, now thank you so much for sharing this with us. And we need to get out there and exercise and yes. you know, just kind of, you know, do things to ensure good health in ourselves. Yeah. And thank you for joining us for another segment of Delaware State University Inside Perspective. Everyone have a good day.